Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be playing with a ton of new products. Um, I've been, as always, just collecting, waiting to do kind of a full face of first impressions for you guys. Um, I figured with all the craziness that's going on in the world right now, it would be fun to kind of just sit and play with some makeup, take our mind off things, distract ourselves, de-stress. Um, so yeah, I have a ton of new stuff, well, new-ish stuff to try out. Um, so let's do it. I tried a different curling iron and technique on my hair today and... I'm kind of obsessed with how it came out. I love this like messy kind of like beachy vibe. So I want to start with my base today. Um, I have this new e.l.f. matte putty primer. So I have the original one which is kind of like a pinkish color and then this is the new mattifying one which is like a white color. Um, it says that it's supposed to like smooth and mattify. Um, they also make a hydrating one. I'm really intrigued to see how this is different than the original one. It looks and feels like kind of the like exact same. Shoot! Um, before, okay, that's just going to have to hang out there for a second. Um, I do have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist that I wanted to try as like kind of a primer thing. So yeah, I want to try this. Um, fun fact about me, I hate watermelon. I think it's disgusting. The texture, the smell, ugh, everything about it. I cannot stand watermelon. So I'm really interested to see if I'm going to like this or if it's going to make me feel nauseous. Um, it says hydrating and glowing radiance. So we'll try this. Okay, cute. Mmm. This mist, super fine, amazing. Okay, it smells like a little bit watermelony, but it's definitely like hubba bubba watermelon, like artificial watermelon. That feels so good. The spritz on this is amazing. Really like that so far. All right, now let's go in and prime. And I'm really going to work this into my T-zone first because that's where I need the majority of my mat mattifying mattifyingness um it's a little mattifying but honestly it kind of feels the exact same as the regular one I don't know for foundation today, we are going to be trying out the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Um, I know a lot of people have been raving about this because it's like super matte and long lasting. Um, and I have mine in the shade 10 neutral. I don't know what I was thinking. <sighs> this is not gonna match me, I already know it. Dude. <laughs> Why do I suck at like picking out foundation shades? I mean, I am self-tanned right now, so my face is lighter than my body, but this, no ma'am. This is not, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> like, who do I think I am? All right. There's no way. There's literally no freaking way. No, okay, I need to, pause please. So I have this LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. Um, I'm going to try and mix a little bit of this in there because I don't want to mix in a whole nother foundation because I'm scared that it's going to obviously change the formula and I want to get it pretty true to what it is. So let's just see if we can mix a little bit of white in there and see if, oh yeah, that's better. See if we can't make this work. I would say you definitely need to work quickly with this. Yeah, this is not the right shade. All right, if you're watching this and freaking out because this is not my right shade, you don't need to leave a comment. I know it doesn't match. What video was it? Was it my Makeup Forever where I tested out the powder foundation? Literally, I pinned a comment and I said it like 18 times in the video. Like, I know this is not the right shade, but I really just wanted to like still test it out for you guys to get a review out like on time. Um, 
I really was focusing more on the formula rather than the color of it. But I cannot tell you, even though I acknowledged it like 18 times, how many people commented. All right, I wanna see if I can salvage this a little bit with some concealer. Um, this is not new, it's just my usual Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. See if we can just kind of get this color looking a little bit more suitable for us. <laughs> With concealer on, I feel like we salvaged it. We can make it work. That was rough. So I have two powders to test out. I have the I Heart Revolution Banana Baking Powder and then the Coconut Baking Powder. Um, so the Coconut Baking Powder is just like a white translucent and then Banana is obviously a yellowy banana shade. Um, I don't really know which color I wanna use. I think I'm gonna use the Coconut one. Mm. It is a little bit scented. It's not like the Peach Perfect powder though. That's like super, super scented. This is, I would not say that like strong at all. And to apply my powder, I picked up this Real Techniques um, Miracle Powder Sponge. It's like a velvety, like, like almost like the Juno and Co, like the microfiber sponges. Um, it's smooth, seamless finish for powder makeup. Um, Seamlessly apply setting bronzer, highlight, and blush powders for a flawless finish. Use damp or dry with powders. Um, I'm going to try it dry because I don't feel like getting it. Okay, so here goes nothing. Nothing's coming off. Oh, do you tap it? Okay, this, like, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the rest of this with a brush. I don't know about this sponge. Um, I'll try it wet and get back to you guys on it, but for now, I just wanna move on. Um, this powder, She's mad. I don't know if you can see that. I am super, 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 super mad right now. Um, so if you're oily, I mean, I'm oily, but this is like dead matte. I mean, it's nice though. Really smooth, kind of that like flawless airbrush finish. Okay, Makeup Revolution. I Heart Revolution, whatever this one is. That's so confusing to me how they do that. I probably shouldn't have used such a mattifying primer because everything that I've used so far is like dead matte. Like the foundation, so matte. This powder, very, very matte. So if you have oily skin, these are all like super great products. Um, but I'm just feeling like the life is sucked out of me. Like you can see how my chest has like a normal shine to it and my face just like no reflection whatsoever. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and bronze. Um, this is the Tarte Sugar Rush Sun and Fun Baked Bronzer. I have never tried anything from, I mean, I've tried things from Tarte before. I've never tried anything from this new Sugar Rush thing. Cute. I love baked bronzers and stuff. I'm kind of weird. I like not shimmery bronzers and blushes, but I do like blushes and bronzers that have like a sheen to them. Ooh, that's nice. I would say this is a little bit more like reddish toned. Mm, this is really nice. I like this a lot. It's not super dark. Gives almost like a really pretty natural glow, which is what I was talking about that I like. So that's good. Um, I'm just going to quickly add some lip balm because whew, these bitches are crusty. Mm, cute. Mixed in with my foundation and powder. <laughs> 10 out of 10. For blush, I'm going to be trying this Kylie Cosmetics blush. This is the pressed blush powder in Close to Perfect. It's like a peachy color. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you know I don't really care for Kylie Cosmetics.
awesome. Um, you know, I don't really care for Kylie Cosmetics that much. I just don't think the, like, I just don't think the quality is there. I think it's all really gimmicky. Um, and I think it's really catered towards kind of a younger demographic. I don't know. It's just not very, like, mature and, like, high quality makeup to me. I mean, like, the packaging is, like, cute, but I don't know. I just see this, like, a lot of, like, teen, preteen, and then I do have some KKW stuff to try. I feel like that's just more, more like, mature and sophisticated, if that makes sense. Um, but we'll try. Watch me use this same brush for this entire makeup look. There's a lot of kickback. I don't know if that's because this is freaking broken um, or if it's just super powdered. Ooh. I like that. I didn't think I was gonna like this. Um, it is very matte and I do like like the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, just things with like a little bit of a sheen to them. As I've said like 18 times, but this is pretty. Blended out really, really good. All right, you win this round, Kylie. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of this Glow Recipe spray just because I feel like my face is just so matte. And I mean, it looks good. Everything is like flawless, airbrush, full coverage, like beat, but it's just a little bit too dry for my liking. I can't get over what a fine mist this is. I'm obsessed with this. I was just always scared to try it because I don't like watermelon. So this is actually not new for me, but for eyeshadow, I'm gonna be going in with the um, Beauty Bay Everything You Need Nude 42 Color Palette. Um, I just wanted to talk about these briefly. I, this one, this specific palette is new, um, but I do have some of these palettes already. If you're looking for a super, super affordable palette that is amazing quality, I highly recommend that you check out Beauty Bay. These are amazing. like. Look at that. Oh, so good. This is like everything you need in one. Like what other shadow could you ever need? Um, I did swatch a few of them. So if they look a little used, that's why. And you get like a huge mirror in here too. These are amazing. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick eye look off camera using this. But if you guys for real haven't tried these yet, I highly recommend you check them out. I'm pretty sure this was like 20 bucks. So it's even cheaper than Morphe. And I think it's a million times better quality. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna probably fast forward through this part. I just wanted to talk about this really quickly because it is such amazing quality and super, super affordable and not enough people are talking about them. All right, so I went ahead and just put some lashes and my brows on. We just got a really simple, easy brown smoky eye going, nothing too exciting. So now it is time to highlight, and I have a, another one of these Sugar Rush things by Tarte. This is the Fresh and Frosted Highlighter Palette. So this is what it looks like. Um, it looks, so they're very yellow, if that makes sense. I don't know. These look like very, well, when I do it like that, they don't. But like, there, can you see like what a yellow like glitter they have in them? Um, they are pretty metallic looking, but there are some, some sparkles in there. So I'm a little bit nervous to try this. I hope it's not like a chunky glitter. Um, so I'm just going to take a Morphe M510 brush, um, and we're going to go in, I think we're going to go in with this one on the end here, which is technically like the darkest one but this one looks the least yellow. Um, I was not expecting that. 
Oh my god. I think these might be a little bit too crazy for me. Look at that. Holy crap. Um, and I barely like dipped my brush in. I didn't even use that much. Look at that glow. If you like a in your face highlight, this is, this is it for you. The only thing I wish the colors themselves were a little bit different. Um, this one is just so yellow. I don't know why, but I don't know. So I wish the shades were a little bit different, but bitch, I'm pretty sure that they can see me in space right now. That needs to tone down a little bit. Wow. It is not a natural highlight by any means. So if that's what you're looking for, this ain't it for you. Last but not least for lips, we have a KKW Beauty Lipstick Gloss Set. Um, this is a trio. So in here you get two lipsticks and then a really pretty gloss. Um, I have Nude 3 and then 90 Style and then the gloss is Rose Gold. I'm excited to try these. See, this is what I mean, like her packaging is just so good. This looks so pretty and just like sophisticated and classy and modern compared to like Kylie Cosmetics. I don't know. Um, okay, so I'm just going to swatch these. Which one is this? This is 90s style. That's 90s style right there. Really pretty. This is Nude 3. Oh, um, and 90s style is a matte and Nude 3 is a cream. So I'm just going to line my lips with NYX Nude Truffle and then we're going to go in with Nude 3. This combo is literally to die for. I love this so much. Y'all, my makeup actually looks decent. I'm proud of myself. I feel like we like pulled this out. Um, I'm going to top a little bit of 90s style in the center. These lipsticks are good. Why did it take me so long to try these? Okay, now on top with rose gold. Alrighty, you guys, this is the finished makeup look. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks pretty good. I am so pleasantly surprised and excited that like everything that I tried out worked really well. The only thing that I really need to play with a little bit more is this powder sponge thing. I just, maybe I gotta wet it. I don't know, um, but I'll keep you posted on this. Honestly, with the foundation being the wrong shade and then the powder and everything, I thought this was going to be an absolute disaster, but I love my makeup. I think it came out so freaking good. Everything just looks so nice on the skin. Today is a good makeup day. I'm excited. Alrighty, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me today and playing with some fun new products. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're new here, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. You can also hit the little bell notification down below so that way you are notified every single time I upload a video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.